that this game was kind of an extension of uh, how you played the last month, month and a half? Uh, yeah, I would say it was pretty good. I don't think uh, I had that good of a game. Um, I had like six turnovers, so got to take care of the ball and make some free throws. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm good. How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm good. But, yeah, I think I think it carried over pretty well. What were the main important factors that contributed to the game being as close as it was, do you think? Uh, I think it would have a lot to do with them kind of getting us out of our offense, denying passing lanes and just being a havoc on defense. I think also we got to make free throws, obviously. We shot terribly from the free throw line, and we got to take care of the ball. I think he hit it right on the nail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so for, the, for you, Marcus, did it feel like your first game as a true freshman? Back yeah, it felt, it felt <laughs> like I was I was in foreign territory, but uh, it was fun out there. I'm just happy we got the win. I just got to keep being patient with myself, knowing it's a process out there. So, um, yeah, just get ready for Thursday now. When you guys compared tonight to the way you guys have been practicing exhibitions <laughs> that you guys have played in, like, how would you say, like, was tonight expected in some ways or unexpected? Or? Mm, I mean, I would kind of say it was expected because uh, we kind of been going at each other for so long and kind of playing the same way like they kind of played us tonight and doing all those things to each other. So, I mean, it was expected, but it was unexpected at the same time, if that makes sense. I think if if we just continue to stay together like we did at the end and reel out those wins, we'll be fine. Yeah, uh, we talked a lot about how tall, how hard they were going to play. So it was it was expected on that, on that end. You know, they were going to force some turnovers. Uh, that's kind of their identity with their team. But uh, you know, at, it was points where we handled it well, and it's also points that we could have handled it better. So it's all about just watching film and getting back uh, in the gym, getting ready for Thursday. Marcus, how do you feel after this game? I feel, I feel good. I'm just happy we got the win, man. I'm healthy, and that's all I can ask for. I'm blessed. Frankie, how would you compare? Uh, last season's Tarleton team to this season, having played them last season, did you expect to have that big of a role on offense today? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess in a way, uh, I mean, I was just doing whatever I had to do for us to get the win. Uh, last year playing them, they were the exact same, take you out of your offense and just be in the lanes and stuff like that. So I was really prepared for it. Um, I just think that as a team, we weren't prepared because we, we went in there like thinking, okay, it's Tarleton, not a high division one school, you know? So I think we just gotta, you know, get over that and just play basketball. Obviously both teams struggled shooting the ball tonight. What specific adjustments are you guys looking to make going into Thursday to improve on the efficiency there? I mean, just shooting our shots. I mean, we shot all the shots we wanted. I think the ball just didn't go in the rim. Um, them. Shooting the ball bad, I mean, that's kind of a good thing for us, I guess. That means our defense is kind of where it needs to be. Um, I just think we got to shoot it better from the free throw line. Yeah. Yeah, we missed 15 free throws, so um, that's just go, that's just goes back to getting some reps up in the gym, and uh, hopefully we can be better on Thursday. You guys were able to get, generate turnovers in some key moments. Um, do you guys like playing at full court, kind of you know, attacking? Yeah, I think if we can speed teams up and you know force some turnovers, because we got a lot of length and athleticism defensively. So if we pick up full court and give other guards uh, trouble, then we'll be able to play in transition. Yeah, I think a big part of that was were the fans. Uh, we fed off their energy, um, and if they can bring it, if they can bring that energy every night. Uh, that can help us. That can help us in the long run. So uh, shout out to them. Yeah. As much as you guys work in the preseason of uh, being cohesive, developing chemistry, is this like a different, you know, ball game, no pun intended, when you actually have to play a game and now everything has to come together? I mean, it's different. It's the, it's the first game of the year. I don't think we need to, like, stress over it or anything. I think we just need to go in the gym and just keep doing what we've been doing and building off each other because uh, we have all the pieces we need. Now we just got to put the pieces together. Frankie, did you expect before the game that you would take 11 threes? No. I didn't think I'd take 11. I knew I was going to take some because obviously they were going to go under because of my party, uh shooting last year. But um, 
I didn't think I'd take eleven of them. <laughs> you had no choice. They were just I had no choice. They was, I mean, they sagging off. I'm, I'm like, gotta shoot it. Frankie, there was a lot said in preseason about your role in this team, which you can distribute touches. What is your self evaluation of how you did that tonight? Uh, I think I did a good job with like trying to get people involved. You know, playing downhill, being a dog defensively. Um, I just think if I limit my turnovers and make free throws, then the game will be a lot better and be a little bit more efficient. Did you expect to take as many shots as you did tonight? No. But I was I was just trying to do whatever you had to do to win the game. Marcus, how did it feel for you to see uh, your first three go in? How did that, that call I started off the game, I was struggling a little bit, kind of got in my head, but once once you see one go in, it's just, I feel like it's, it's just like a pre, like the pressure comes and gets off your back. So uh, it was good to see that fall. Um, I wish I could have hit a, hit a few more shots tonight, but uh, we'll get back to it this week and get ready for Thursday. Marcus, Bobby said it wasn't exactly a celebratory locker room, just given the nature of uh, how this one played out. How, how would you describe what it was like afterwards? Um, it was just we know what we can do type. We know the type of team we are, uh, and we didn't play up to that level tonight. So uh, it was just kind of like we won, but everybody in the back of our heads were like, "Oh yeah, we we gotta we gotta we gotta play better." So that's that's pretty much. It was just an undertone. Like we were happy we got the victory, but it was just like we gotta play better on, on both sides of the ball.